Hi, this is Majinoni, and here's my review for Shadowland number one and Amazing Spider-Man Grim Hunt Part Three, which is issue six thirty-six. Uh, there's gonna be some spoilers, so if you haven't read your books, you're probably gonna want to come back and check out out later. We'll start off with Amazing Spider-Man first. Now, this is a little bit feels like it's a little bit thicker book than what it normally is. I uh, um, there are two covers. There's this one where they're doing an unmasking, and there's another one where it's Craven, and he's on the cover. And it's very similar art, art style as this. Um, if you guys remember from before, uh, Craven was resurrected when uh, Craven's wife stuck a dagger into Peter Parker's Spider Man's chest. And this is basically what's the after effects. The animals are, are loose and they're very acting very unusual like for example the lions here they start attacking some guards and you have like the monkeys going nuts and then you see them like other animals later on now I have to admit this really surprised me here I was like okay maybe they didn't put the dagger in far enough or maybe there was a slimmer of hope for Peter Parker to be alive but when I saw this I was like oh no he's dead he is definitely dead <clears throat> and then I immediately start to think what possible ways are they going to get themselves out of this one well two ideas came to mind but um, I, I got it, the one idea that I did have wasn't wasn't the first one that came to mind but I got basically what was going on um, Craven oh yeah you, you have the extra spider people here and then they're attacked by um, Craven's son here. Uh, Craven's he senses that there's something wrong, and he's going through the whole family. Like there's a chameleon there, and then this is like a really creepy thing about leaving, taking my son type thing. And I understand that's how animals operate, but it was kind of creepy watching people do it. And he wants to know where his son is. Uh, like I said, there's they're going for the attack. And Craven comes in, saves them in time. <coughs> you have uh, Harry and Mary Jane talking. It seems like uh, Mary Jane wants to tell Peter something, but she won't. Harry's kind of pushing her in that direction to you know, talk to him about it. And um, like I said before, the animals are going crazy. So now you have the rats and you have uh, monkeys and birds and panthers and whatnot. And when Mary Jane sees this she senses that there's something not right and I I kind of have to believe that it's not that it's just that there's you know a bunch of rats going nuts I think it's you know it's more along the lines of you know this kind of happened before once before but that uh, venom's not the venom I thought I forgot what it was called but it had the rat dude in it and um, it, I, I think it had to do with the title venom but I forgot the full name and um, so I have a feeling it's dating back to that. She's remembering things. Uh, Craven's, like I said, brooding. The daughter, it's like, what, Daddy, Daddy, what's wrong? Daddy goes to attack her, and Daddy's, and she gets, she stabs Daddy, which freaks out the mom. And Craven's like, oh, don't worry, this, that's what you're supposed to do. And then uh, Madam Web kind of likes what's going on up there. She can somehow sense that. And um, this is where Craven's kind of going, well, you know, something's not right. Why did you bring me back? I'm, you know, I'm a curse now. He didn't, you know, he doesn't really want that. Now, <clears throat> this is a part of a spoiler, so if you don't want to know, skip this part. But basically, what they figure out is uh, who they killed was not Peter Parker. He was not the original Spider-Man, it's Kane. And this is where they go back to story of Peter Parker now coming out of the ground. And apparently what happened was Peter fell into the grave, Cain came, and they switched places. And that's basically that part of it. I kind of suspected it might have been Cain, but I wasn't quite sure if it was or not. I was thinking maybe Madam Web was going to do some uh, magical stuff, or the worst thing, the very worst thing that they would have done was swap Kane with Peter. But um, I knew, I, had, I was pretty much guessing that there was something that had to do with Kane. I thought that possibly they did a swap, but I wasn't sure. With Shadowland, 
I did not want to buy this, but when I saw the last page, I was like, oh my god, I have to buy this. You have the hand, they're like, ah, uh, we must cause Matt Murdock into deeper destruction within himself type thing. Bullseye's on a plane going to jail. He tricks the guards into thinking that he's having some sort of seizure type stuff. He's foaming at the mouth, and he's saying sentries coming to get him. So they let him out, and then he basically kills everybody on the plane and escapes. And this is basically sets the star story for you have Bullseye, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, uh, Punisher, and this is not Frankencastle. This is the real Punisher. And you have um, Kingpin. Uh, the, uh, you have um, the Avengers are basically going, well, you know, something's going on with Daredevil, and, um, you know, he's, he's getting kind of out of control. And then, you know, basically they're making some threats saying that, well, what's going to happen if Matt, Matt doesn't calm himself down from where he is? And that's when you have the, the Avengers Prime going, uh, what will he will or will take him down type thing. So part of me is really, really hoping this happens because this is going to be awesome. Anyways, on to the other cool part. You have a bullseye killing some uh, ninja, and uh, you have Daredevil's new black and then red costume with some ninjas, and then they blah, 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 taunt each other, and um, Daredevil, or Matt Murdock, sends the ninja hand to go after him. Uh, Iron Fist and um, Power Man see that, that there's something going on from before. Let me check right there. And then, um, so they go off for their help. Daredevil's like, well, uh, do you swear allegiance to the hand? And they're like, oh, no, why would you want to do something stupid like that? So Matt tells him just to go home. They're not needed. Um, Daredevil, I mean, sorry, Bullseye goes to a convenient location where there might be cameras so he can get some airtime. Massive carnage. Then Daredevil comes in. This is, I thought, was a great panel. It, you know, it shows a lot of uh, action, a lot of movement. It's a, it's a much, it's a really powerful, like, actions scene. Uh, you have some more battling here. And then this is where Daredevil kind of goes a little crazy because he dislocates his shoulder here. And then he's a little taunting. Well, you need your other arm. Breaks his other arm. And then that's where you see fear on Bullseye's face. And then you have Power Man and Iron Fist going, is he going to do what we think he's going to do? He better not. And the spoiler part coming up. And then, push, Daredevil kills Bullseye. Now, from what I've heard, this is a real thing. It's not where something where Bullseye is going to come back. Two issues later, he's dead, dead. Now, I think we all know what dead, dead means. He's dead for Shadowland. It's three months later, six months later, a year, two, whatever. When they need Bullseye back, Bullseye will be back. Um, the hand will resurrect him. Somebody will resurrect him. Maybe he didn't die. Even. You know, they'll figure out some stupid loophole. But anyways, I thought these were both fantastic buys. I'm still happy with this. It's not going quite as, my excitement level is not as great as it was, but I'm still enjoying the series. Um, I probably will buy the trade. About 75% likely will buy this trade. This one totally blew me away. Uh, I even enjoyed the art, which kind of surprised me. Uh, just by looking at the cover, I was going, yeah. But then when I saw the inside, I was like, hey, the art's actually pretty good. Fight with Bullseye was good. Uh, I'm hoping that the rest of the se series keeps up the momentum. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it on the side. And uh, when do you think they're going to bring Bullseye back? I say two years. No, no, no. A one year. Bullseye will be back within a, at least one year. Um, subscribe to the channel, and until next time.